going to be making to patties. This type of bread is going to go with our Indian tray bake tonight. So what you'll need is you'll, you'll need a bowl, a, a good size spoon and a good size bowl. You'll need um, chapati flour, which is half whole flour and half um, just normal plain flour. We tend to use just plain flour, but you can use this as an alternative if you like to. You need 280 grams of that. We have the bag out as well as you later on need to um, fold the dough on a floured surface. We have 180 grams of water, warm water. We have a pinch of salt, and we have two whole tablespoons of oil. Making our patties is we have to get our 180 grams of flour. Put that in there. Then you want to make it all well with your finger or a wooden spoon, and pour your oil in that well. So you're gonna, you're gonna go all down the edges. Then you want to do a pinch of salt. I'm just gonna put some in my hand and then put it in. And then you want to start stirring. And as you're stirring it, you have to add in the flour as you go to mix into the dough. But don't add it to, don't add it in all at once. And then yes, keep on stirring it. Keep on mixing it until it gets into the dough. has started to form so I'm going to scrape it off our wooden spoon and I'm going to just start kneading it until it completely goes into the dough. Now your now your bowl should look like it's been brand new and it's not been used at all. So once your dough is formed you would, and there's no more flour left in the bowl you need to, you need to transfer it onto a floured surface and start kneading it to make it more elastic right. and make, that makes it easy to roll out later on. Feels elastic like blue tack. These are things that you need to make sure that you haven't done. You need to make sure that, that you haven't overworked the dough and that you haven't incorporated more flour unless it's sticking to your hands. Now that I've kneaded the dough, I'm going to bring forward a chopping board and a knife. I'm going to chop it into eight pieces so, so that we make, can make eight chapatis. So I've cut it um, into quarters and I'm going to cut it into eights. You need to make sure that they're all nice and even so that you can have each back and you're not going to have one that's way too small and one that's massive. And once you've done that, you're going to roll it into a nice ball and put it in our bowl. Once you've rolled them all into a ball and they're in your bowl, Cover it with cling film and leave it to rest as long as you can. But the longer you rest it, the more fluffy the will be. So just keep that. Then after the chapatis have been resting for an hour, you need to get them out and make sure that you have flour on your rolling pin. Now they can sometimes stick together, but don't worry about that. And you're going to roll them out thinly like a chapati. Rolled out as soon as the chapati should be. You're going to place it in a nice warm pan with some oil. You don't have to put oil in it, but we chose to. Just lay it in the pan, be careful not to burn yourself. And we're just going to let it sit for two to three minutes on each side. Once it's started to puff up and you can see that it's got some colour on the on the underside, you would like you flip it over and do the exact same thing. That looks lovely. It only takes a couple of minutes on the other side. So once it's ready, you're going to take it out and flip it onto a plate. 